Hey, uh, I wanted to talk about a strategy that I use a lot when I'm improvising. Uh, something that helps me uh, get out of ruts, so to speak. Uh, a lot of times when we improvise, we uh, sort of get stuck in certain patterns, uh, which is, of course, natural and normal. And, um, but one thing that can help is, uh, especially if you're working with a chord progression. Uh, for example, I'm going to take the uh, La Folia chord progression uh, here. Uh, this is what it sounds like. beautiful chord progression, probably 15th, 16th century. Uh, and the composers really like to take this chord progression and write variations on it. And that's a great way to improvise as well, uh, because every time you play the chord progression, you try to do something a little bit different. But we certainly get, I think, stuck sometimes in the rut of just sort of chord plus melody, like this, for example. do a lot of stuff with that. Um, but I'd like to uh, maybe uh, try to bring in some other voices that are not soprano. Uh, so let's take the chord progression right now and let's just turn it into four separate voices. I'm going to take bass, tenor, alto, and soprano. So we'll do a very standard four voice, let's say, version. Still, we're used to hearing the melody in the soprano, okay? And we can leave that alone there. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to make one of my other voices, let's say tenor or um, uh, alto, I'm going to try to make that a bit more interesting here. the other voice is really simple and sort of doing something more interesting in my tenor part. Okay, let's try it with alto. Okay, and then once we kind of get the hang of it, we can start doing more than one voice moving at a time. think that's probably how uh, composers, especially a composer like Bach, was really thinking contrapuntally. Um, and it'll help you get outside that sort of um, sort of chord progression box, I think. It'll help a little bit. I'm still following the chord progression, but I'm allowing the voices to lead rather than just uh, following that sort of blocked thing. So uh, I'll do a little bit more on the folia here just to see, demonstrate some other ideas. <laughs> 